Hi, and welcome to the Get Started Fast with Avid Pro Tools S6 video series. My name is Gil Gowing, Pro Audio Solutions Specialist for Avid. In this video, I will be showing you how to configure the S6 from the master module and connect it to your workstation. The starting point of this video assumes that you have assembled the S6 frame, made all the necessary network and power connections to the modules, and have already installed the latest S6 workstation master module software and the workstation control software on your workstation computer or computers. Please see the S6 installation guide and S6 software installation documents for instructions on these areas. To configure the S6 from the master module, follow these steps. First, press the home switch from the master module touchscreen and then press settings. At the top of the touchscreen, select surface. At the bottom of the screen, select config. Next, select how many modules wide and how many modules deep the configuration is. The two choices for how deep are four, three surface modules and a display module, and five, four surface modules and a display module. As a note, M10 systems do not have the option for display modules. Now, press Next. On the next page, drag the correct module configuration into the corresponding frame location. Then press Next. From this page, you will see the first module on the screen blink. To tell the configuration where this module is located, just touch or control on the corresponding module from the surface. Continue this until all the modules have been declared. If you are on an M10 system or an M40 system without display modules, press Done and you are finished. If this is an M40 system with display modules, press Next. On the next page, you will see on the touchscreen numbered boxes that correspond to the numbered display modules on the surface. Drag the correct numbered display module into the corresponding frame location, then press Done. This completes setting up your S6 configuration. If you change any of the module positions at a later date, you can go back and follow these steps again to reconfigure the surface. Next, we will connect your workstation or workstations to the surface. First, select workstations from the top of the master module touchscreen or press the WS switch on the top left side of the lower section of the master module. You should now see two columns. On the left is the network list of computers connected and on the right are slots for the connected workstations, two for M10 users or eight for M40 users. Drag any of the computers on the left to a connected workstation slot on the right. Do this until all the computers are connected to the S6. With version 1.2 of S6 software or higher, you can custom name each workstation. Tap at the top left side of the workstation box to bring up the naming tool. You can then use either the built-in touchscreen keyboard or an attached USB keyboard to name the workstations. To switch between workstations, just press the desired workstation in the connected column on the right and the surface will populate with that workstation. This can be done with either the transport stopped or rolling. Configuring the S6 is a very easy and visual process. No need to choose cryptic names from a pop-up list to make the connections. It is just an easy drag and touch process from the master module's touchscreen. And connecting and selecting workstations is just as easy, making using complex, multiple systems just a couple presses away. Stay tuned for more in-depth S6 information in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and let S6 inspire your creativity.